Harvey. Lewis. Jessica said Harbin wants us to work on the Reinsdorf case together. She said the same thing to me. Well, I'm here to help, not get in a fight. My feelings exactly. Good. I thought we could start by talking strategy. I'm sorry, but are you first chair? No, you are, but I just thought that... Doesn't matter what you thought, because our strategy is to go after their general counsel. And when would you like to depose this guy? Never, because I'm gonna put that asshole on the stand and I'm gonna crack him like a piece of matzo on Passover. Lewis, you put him on the stand without deposing him, you'll be asking questions you don't know the answers to. So what? So that's the number one rule of lawyering. Well, thank you, F. Lee Bailey, and here I thought the number one rule was to know your goddamn place. And I don't need to take advice from a sixth year associate. And I don't need to take a loss on my record because you're too insecure to listen to reason. You know what, Harvey? You don't need to take anything because you're not in charge. So it's up to you. You're gonna get on board or you're gonna go crying to mama? You're right, Lewis. You're the partner. I'm just here to back you up. Donna, I want you to pull whatever strings you have to to get the Reinsdorf trial moved up to tomorrow. I'll get right on it. And one more thing, don't tell Lewis. What? Harvey, Jessica said to bury the hatchet, not stick it in Lewis's back. Donna, I went into his office in good faith, and it took him less than 30 seconds to wave his title in my face. What does that have to do with putting the firm's interests above your ego? Because when I brought up a legitimate issue with his strategy, he shot me down with no other reason than it came out of my mouth. I'm telling you, we don't do this, we're gonna lose. Look at me. Are you sure this is the right call? Listen to me, Jessica wants me to play the long game and that's what I'm doing. I sat in there, ate sh and he bought it. So now tomorrow I'm gonna win this thing and Jessica's gonna know she can count on me. All right, I'll move the court date and I'll make sure Lewis doesn't find out. What the hell do you think you're doing? Jessica, how'd you know? It doesn't matter how. What matters is I told you to work it out with Lewis, and right now he's sitting in his office with no idea this case is starting. Exactly. I'm playing the long game, like you said. No, Harvey, you're not playing anything, because this case is mine now. What? You heard me. I gave you a direct order, and you spat in my face. Jessica, this is bullshit. I went in there, and he spat in my face, and I was willing to take it, but what I'm not willing to take is losing this thing out of spite, and if you take this case right now, you're gonna lose because you have no idea what's going on with it. Maybe I will and maybe I won't. But sometimes you have to bench your quarterback to show him who's running the team, whether you take a loss or not. All rise. Time's up, Harvey. Step aside. Jessica, please don't do this to me in public. I'm not doing anything to you. You did this to yourself. Do we have a problem, Counselor? No, Your Honor, we don't. My colleague is needed back at our firm. I'm stepping in. In that case, be seated, everyone. Court is now in session. Jessica, hey, how are you? Lewis, remember we talked about not abusing your power with Harvey? Absolutely, and that's why I treated him with the utmost respect. Well, if that's the case, then exactly why did he litigate Reinsdorf behind your back? God damn it, what the hell did he do? I'm not concerned with what he did, I'm concerned with what you did. Jessica, I swear I was the perfect gentleman, but then Harvey questioned my leadership. In other words, he had a better idea than you. Well, whether it was or it wasn't, he didn't respect the office of junior partner. Because there is no office of junior partner, Lewis. And the real problem here isn't Harvey, it's that chip on your shoulder. What chip? Lewis, I need you to be at this address tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Why? Because I believe you will benefit from therapy. And this man is the best in the business. Whoa, 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 back the truck up. Jessica, therapy? <laughs> I'm the most stable, secure man you've ever met. And you fight me on this, you'll be the most unemployed man I've ever met. Do we understand each other? Yeah, 9 a.m. it is. And Lewis, when you walk through that door, you're gonna be tempted to turn right the hell around. And I'm telling you, if you want a future here, you won't. Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you were in court all day. Well, Jessica had other plans, like booting me off this case. What? She walked in there and threw me out with my tail between my legs like I was a piece of sh first year associate. Listen to me, you need to calm down so we can figure out what we're gonna do. I am calm, and I already took care of what we're gonna do. What are you talking about? I got us an offer at Bratton Gould. If everything goes like I think, we'll be there by the end of the week. What? 
Harvey, that doesn't make any sense. Jessica's your biggest fan. She's always been in your corner. Was she in my corner when Harmon promoted Lewis? That's not fair. That was his call. Well, whose call was cutting my balls off in front of the entire courtroom today? I don't care what she did. The woman paid for you to go to law school out of her own pocket. The least you can do is talk to her before you do something like this. Donna, I tried talking to her, but it doesn't matter. It's too late. I gave Alex my word. It's a done deal. Well, it may be a done deal for you, but it isn't a done deal for me. Donna. I like it here, Harvey. And you can't just make this kind of decision about my life without running it by me first. If this is your way of trying to get me to stay. I'm not trying to get you to do anything, but I'm not just gonna follow you out the door without thinking this through. What do you want, Donna? You want an apology? Well, here it is. I'm sorry I didn't consult with you. I don't want an apology, Harvey. I wanted to talk this thing through with you, which, by the way, is what you should have done with Jessica. Well, you know what, Donna? I didn't come to you for advice. I came to tell you to start packing. But if you don't want to come with me, then don't come with me. Jessica, we need to talk. We do. But if you're looking for an apology... I'm I... not here for an apology. I'm here to tell you that I'm expecting a job offer from Brat and Gould. You're expecting one? Or you went looking for one? Does it matter? It does to me. Then you should know. I was offered a job, I turned it down, and it was gonna stay turned down until you made it crystal clear that you don't respect me. What I made clear is that I call the shots. And if you don't see how that helps you in the long run... Screw the long run. They're gonna make me a partner now. You won't even go to bat for me. You know what, Harvey? I'm about done with your little song and dance about how I don't have your back. I picked you out of the goddamn mail room. And I've given you every opportunity you've ever had. This was a mistake. What was a mistake? I came here to give you a chance to talk me out of leaving. But when this offer comes in, it's too late. Just out of curiosity, what would you have me do? You know what the hell I'd have you do. Harvey, you have more of our talent than 99% of the partners in this firm. But I'm not gonna give you a promotion based on a threat. You'll get one when you're ready. And if that's not good enough for you, then I wish you luck at Bratton Gould. Then consider this my official notice.